channel everyone if this is your first time don't forget to like and subscribe and if you watch my video and haven't subscribed make sure to do that at the end of the video i'll remind you again um anyways i have some exciting news for you today <clears throat> i have a huge surprise for you guys at the end um today i'll be making um lasagna my favorite meal to make and to eat so I just thought about making it today because I have something really exciting for you guys and I just wanted a feel good meal. I feel like I deserved it. Uh, without wasting any more of your time, let's get on it. I stove now. What you want to do is preheat your oven. So whilst all of this is cooking, uh, your oven will be preheated by the time you finish your mince. Uh, you can just slap it in the oven. Anyways, now we are making our mince. Uh, first we're going to do is add our oil, in goes your olive oil, you want quite a bit because you got a lot of onions and you got a lot of, oh, it's a bit too hot, let's wait a little bit, you know I'm scared of oil, we're going to put our onions, so in means our um, olive oil, in means our onions, uh, we're just going to saute our onions for a little while, uh, make sure that the stove isn't too high or too low because we don't want to caramelize it, just gonna get it nice and crispy, not too crispy though. Now we're gonna also add our bay leaves. I'll show you guys in the picture, but I'll add it in the description. Add our bay leaves. It's important to watch my video to the till the end because I add random ingredients. You're gonna miss out on a lot of stuff if you don't watch the video to the end. So probably gonna add like two stuff, you know, because that's how my brain is, you know. Because you never know, I create my dishes throughout my uh, cooking. Whatever goes my way, so it goes, you know. That's just me. I don't know about you guys, but that's me. Popping uh, two babies. You want to put it, you want to add the babies now. So we can extract all of the flavors and stuff. So you see, it's browning, you know. It's browning. Now I'm going to go in with my black peppers and my Italian herbs. Guys, remember this. Don't be expecting me to give you like two tablespoons, three tablespoons, you know. The whole idea of the show is to teach people how to cook. So we all know ain't nobody going to be chilling in their houses with a measuring spoon, measuring two tablespoons. You go with your desire and follow your instincts. That's the only way you're going to learn. I am going to add the ingredients and the measurements in the description, but you add your desired amount your taste buds you oh you need to own your dish you know don't always stick to the ingredients that i that i put if you feel like there's a greater version of whatever i didn't include in the ingredients then so be it add it in you know own your dish the whole idea is for you guys to learn and improve so you're not going to learn and improve you're just going to take you're just going to be taking my stuff you know as is so earn it so now we're just going to add a bit of um Black peppers, you know, and add a bit more of my Italian herbs. And okay. I'm not adding my salt as yet because I'm going to use my other seasonings, Robinson spice and my barbecue sprinkle. This is for seasoning purposes, so that your meat is nicely seasoned and stuff. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to add my salt as yet because I first want to season. The salt is just if the seasoning is not enough, then I add the salt. But at the end, see? there you go. This smells so delicious, guys. You don't know. In with a little bit of my rosemary. Throughout the dish, when it's cooking, it can just. Um, Embrace all the flavors and stuff. I'm also going to add more towards the end. But now this is just for, you know, extracting all the flavors. Maximum flavor to be precise. After this, we're going to go in with mint. You must with the mince, you know, move with it so it's compact, you know. 
it doesn't fall apart i don't want to eat um soy mince i like it nice and chewy so be aware of how you stir your meat so let's wait for that to just bubble up you know so as in you probably um washed your meat your mince before you cooked it i trust you guys you did that anyways it's gonna rise about now it's gonna start um excreting all of that flame all of those water the liquids that um, or in there so you don't really need to add more water because um, <clears throat> also I'm going to add tomato puree towards the end you know so that too is going to add so only add your water if it's burning if you know that you washed it and it's got decent amounts of water then it's going to about now this process is going to start um, excreting all of those liquids if your, your stove is too high and uh, it's burning then you're gonna need to add a bit of water but don't just add willingly add the water because you just gotta be standing and waiting a long period of time for that water to evaporate because we need a little bit amount of water before we add in our other ingredients you see this is how this is what I'm talking about I didn't add any water I didn't add anything because my stove is not too high it's allowing the mint to to gently excrete all of the liquids inside if it was too hot, then it would have burned immediately. Turning it around, you're not causing any friction. You know, you want it to stay nice and compact, you know, nice and chewy. Obviously, you're going to break those little, those balls that are going to form, but you're not going to break them too hard, you know. At least you're going to have the option to break them. And like, if you just stir it with friction, you won't have the option. It's just going to be soy. Till the end. No more balls forming, no chewy parts, nothing. And that sucks. Now that this is, um, it, now that we're waiting for the water to evaporate before we add our next ingredients, we're moving along to our white sauce now. Just gonna put this on the next stove and then we're gonna be doing our white sauce while this cooks. Yay. And so now for our white sauce, we're gonna need my butter and rama. You know. And then we're going to start by frying our bacon, you know, we're going to, we're going to chop your bacon into cubes and then toss them inside so they'll be frying in there. You know, the smell of bacon just reminds me of breakfast. Just breakfast starting your day, day. So, anyways, we're going to fry the bacon. And then our next ingredient would be milk and flour, you know, and a bit of uh, some onions because you know we I switch things up. So just let your bacon fry away, you know, try not to disturb it. It's not going to cook while it's moving, so just let it fry away. You guys, you know when your bacon is burning, so don't let it burn. Just move it around when it's necessary. So... When your bacon is starting to burn, don't let it burn. Take it out of the stove. I don't want it to be crispy. I just want it to be chewable. And then, don't empty this. Don't empty this, guys. This we saving for flavor reasons. This is about time that you can add your flour. Add your, add your flour. And then, you want to make a roll. If you feel like you added more flour than you should, add more butter. Make sure you move your roll around so it doesn't burn. Because now your white sauce is going to be burned, you know. But we all know white sauce isn't really white sauce, you know. It's not white, to be precise. I add more butter. And if you add more butter than you should, add more flour. You know, this is how it should look. The stove is a bit too high, it got burnt a little bit, but not too bad. It is what it is. want to let this cook for one minute you know before adding um your your milk so if it looks like it's starting to fizz then it's about ready and then we're going to slowly add in our milk you want to be very quick with this because you don't want it to, to to lump up and i don't have a whisk using a spoon so you want to be really quick with this
Just check on me. Um, it's hurry, 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 hurry. And add in some important things in our mint before it burns completely. We're gonna add our your curry powder, whichever one you have in your house. This is Mawa, and you see it's nice and red. That's exactly what you want. It's not thin, it's got it's chewy, you know. Add, add, add some milk. Stir in your milk. You know, don't be afraid. Boom! Oh, here it is. After a good minute or two, after adding your curry powder, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go in tomato puree. If you have tomato paste, you're more than welcome to add it. Oh, we all do this at home. Add a bit of water. Slap in some water in your can and there you go. Here's our white sauce. It's starting to thicken up again. You know, you see? I'm going to be making a lot of um, lasagna. I'm going to add a bit more milk. Add in your milk. So, guys, when your white sauce starts bubbling up, oh, it looks so nice. Add in your bacon. I mean, stir it in. In goes your onions, finely chopped onions, guys. Finely chopped onions. And then let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Now we are checking on our mince. It's looking nice and delicious, you know. Our mince is looking nice and delicious, you know. Now that it's nice and simmering, um, after adding the onions and stuff, what we're gonna do now is what I like to do personally, just to zazz it up, add a bit more flavor to my white sauce. Um, these uh, cooking sauces, you know, if I have a chicken ala king, I'll be glad to use a chicken ala king. But now that I have chicken and mushroom, I'll be using chicken and mushroom. So I'm just gonna add a little bit over there. It's just gonna add more flavor to your white sauce. This is optional. This is just optional. You don't need to do this. No. And because of the sauce also, I don't need adding the cheese, you know. I can just slap in the cheese at the top of the lasagna. Let's check on our mince. Now that our mince is nice and um, glossy, we're going to add in our lasambi. We're going to add in our marinade. Um, all the other goody things that um, <clears throat> we haven't added. Okay. Just after a minute or a minute and a half after you're adding your sauce, you're just going to add in a bit of some salt for taste and you're going to taste it and add to your desired amount. So in goes our salt, just a little bit, you know, you don't want to add too much. You see, look at the spoon guys, it's thick. Now that it's thick, after you tasted it, I tasted mine, and mine is just okay. Um, this is good to go. Okay, so now that our mince is nice and glossy, we're going to add all the cookie stuff that we haven't added, which is our Zambi, you know, just going to sprinkle on top your desired amount again. And then we're going to add our marinade. I'm using my spur marinade. <coughs> You add your desired, your, whichever one that you enjoy using, um, just a little bit, and then, see, the, the color is changing, because of all the nice goody flavors that we added. And then, we're going to go in with our, um, our wine, 
South African. We met South African. We local guys. And then goes our wine. Then just stir. My nipple too now, guys. Alcohol is now for sale. So you can just grab some in your local stores and we're good to go. We're going to let this marinate for a good couple of minutes, around about maybe five minutes. And then we're going to add our bolognese sauce and another five minutes and we're good to go. Now we're going to add our tomato sauce. You add your desired amount, you know. And you're going to add in your bolognese sauce, you know. This is completely optional. If you don't have, it's fine. This is just me being me. I want all my teachers to go to the top, you know, add whatever I feel that's good. So if you don't have, it's completely fine, you know. Just gonna um, sprinkle on side, sprinkle, 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 you know. <clears throat> and then just from the middle, guys, from the center outwards. So you're just gonna go in circular movements to avoid um, any lumps being formed. But just gonna do that until your um, bolognese sauce has fully dissolved. If you feel like you don't trust yourself enough for that one, for that method, you can also you can always just sprinkle, 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 and wait for it to dissolve. It's gonna dissolve by its own thingy. Now let's just taste. Hmm, that's nice. Now we're just gonna add a bit of sugar. This is just to stabilize the acidity of, of the tomatoes. And especially if you also added the tomato paste, then you're going to need to add your sugar because the tomato sauce alone is not enough. So just add a bit. Not too much. If you remember, I didn't add my salt. If you feel that it's, uh, it lacks a bit of some salt, add your salt, you know. I'm going to add my salt just a little bit because, you know, I don't like using salt. It's not good for you. I always compromise with other stuff like spices and seasoning salts. So, just a little bit. Now that we're done with all of these things, remember I told you that you have got to watch till the end. So, because I like to randomly add stuff. So, I'm going to add my um, my Norwich cube, my, my stock cube. Um, and then after that, it's just going to stabilize everything. That's just a staple. It's going to stabilize everything. I like to add it at the end because I don't want it to, um, to lose the flavors throughout the egg, throughout the cooking process. And now I'm using uh, my beef stock cube. Um, what is it called again? It's chili something. Beef. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to crunch it up. And then... Ouch. And then just let it dissolve. After, you're going to wait five minutes after and then your mint is good and then, surprise, surprise, I'm going to show you guys that lovely surprise that I was talking about earlier on. Yeah, 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 I have not forgotten about you guys. Have something special for you guys. So, let's wait for five minutes and then <clears throat> I'm going to share my surprise with you, y'all. And we're back, yo. We are into the assembly part. The most exciting part. So, hang in there. What you want to do first is um, <clears throat> you want to coat your uh, pan with a bit of um, some mint um, down there. You know, just take a little scoop and then just spread it around. This is just so this moisture and your, your thingy, your lasagna sheets don't stick to the pan, you know. So, you're just going to add... <clears throat> Um, okay, now I'm using this uh, lasagna sheet. It's, this is a spinach one because I'm trying to eat healthy, you know. Um, so you want to first lay, you know, I'm not going to, mind you, these are not cooked yet. Um, they're going to cook in the oven. Some people like uh, boiling them. I personally don't like doing that because they tend to stick to each other um, or fall apart or just overcook, you know. So I'm just going to lay. Um, and continue adding, you know, if you need to break them, it's okay, you can break them just to fit the side pieces, you know, because my one is oval, so I'm going to need to break it. <clears throat> Make sure that you cover your, uh, your foundation so it stays intact. You know, and then we're going to add our mints over the sheets. Now just carefully lay your lemons over them, spread it around, and 
then we're gonna top it up with um <coughs> our white sauce. White sauce has thickened up, it's okay. If it cools down, it will it will thicken up. So just uh melt it, just stir it around, you know. And then we're gonna add it on top. Just like this, you know, spread it nicely. After the white sauce, these bad boys, you know, just gonna place them nicely, you know, on the sides. And then we're gonna top it off with our mince. Mince goes in, spread it out. You know the truth. Imagine this big lasagna for myself. Thank God for people close to me this side <laughs> so I can share with you guys. <laughs> and then white sauce on top, you know, just right there. The white looking part. You ever wondered why it's quiet and cheesy? It's not just the cheese, it's the white sauce on top. You know, so we're just gonna add in your white sauce, spread it around. Ooh, la la. You can add in your cheese in between your layers, but <clears throat> I'm running out of cheese. All of the cheese is going on top of this bad boy. Cheese up, you know? You're <laughs> just moments away before I tell you my lovely surprise! <laughs> Hang in there! Hang in there, guys! <laughs> Let me just hurry up, I can't wait. Yeah. And you have it. You know, we just got our pepper in the oven and uh, for good, like 30 minutes. And then make sure, make sure your oven is not too hot. You know, you don't want to burn it. You know, we just got pepper in the oven for a good 30 minutes and then let it rest for another 30 minutes before you serve it. You know, you want it nice and compact, you know, not just falling apart. So wait a good 30 minutes before you serve it, guys. body scrubs and then these are my shower mold my bath bombs and these are my body salts you know people that um, don't like taking shower don't like taking baths and stuff I have my shower mold and my body scrubs to help you guys you can also use your body scrubs in the bath but the shower mold basically they act just like um, the bath bombs just for the shower you know they're activated by the skin as soon as you start bathing steam all over the place and the shower mounts then start activating releasing all of those aromas my stuff has essential oils you're gonna love these guys i've got glow tea i've got rose pencils guys you know ladies we love our relaxation bars we love these things yay gotta love them i made these with love my own hands these hands made this i'm so proud of myself day after so i can give you an exclusive which is why I also made my lovely lasagna because I needed to spoil myself. I needed to cook food that I love cooking and love eating just to congratulate myself for this hard work. Obviously, I would not have done it without the people that I have close to me, without my friends, without my family, the very closest friends, my very closest family members, guys. I love you. I love you. It would not be possible without your support, your kind words, just always on my back, you know. I love you guys, so <coughs> thank you. Cannibal is gonna be in the market, yo! So get ready, save that cash so you can buy Cannibal.
Cause we've been taught that's the way our world goes round Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it looks, yo, out the oven, yeah. I cover it um, and let it rest for a good 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. You don't want it to fall apart, guys. I repeat, so just cover it and let it rest. It's almost like baking, um, baking cake and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> It's much time, you guessed that right, yo. So our lasagna has been laying there, has been resting for a good 40 minutes. I had a crusty side that is so look at the cheese. It is amazing. Like, oh wow. Well, let's dig into it. Which side should I cut this cut? Look at that. Meaty. Meaty. Yum, 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 yummy. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in this. <laughs> and the cheese, yo. The cheese is just melted and the sauce. And... Let me get a big chunky piece. Wow, 